Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Princess. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new here. And today, I am back with another video. So, as you can tell by the title, for this video, I'm going to be showing you guys what is in my extremely heavy backpack. If you watch my other video and you see me wearing the same shirt, because I'm filming this video right after I filmed that one. By the way, it's quarantine time. Uh, it's April 6th, and it's quarantine. I don't even know what day anymore. But I hope y'all stay safe and wash your hands and practice social distancing. This is my bag. It's an Adidas backpack. It has the sandal that says three stripes, the brand with the three stripes. And it has one front pocket, two, three, four, and five. Let me show you first the pins that I have in front. So I just have this zebra. Bin and this bin which says Japan. I got these two from when I was in Japan for my layover and I also have this keychain of the Mirror Lion in Singapore. I think I'm gonna start with the side pockets first because it has the least number of things inside. And here in the left pocket, I have a lampin. I don't even know why this thing is in here because on a normal day, I would not put this in here. Next, I keep in here my candy mint candy, menthol candy, because these really helps when, for example, you're not feeling well, you're feeling kind of dizzy and feeling kind of nauseous. Just put these in your mouth and it will help you feel a little better. Now just keep this in here for easy access. Also, usually, I have my water bottle in here, but since we don't have glasses, it's empty. I haven't tested if it's actually waterproof, but I think it is just by looking at the material of it. I forgot to show you guys how the back looks like. It's well padded. It has these added straps and it has this adidas this adidas stripes i think it's adidas but i'm used to saying adidas and most people say adidas so i'm just gonna say adidas because i'm a bad you know actually i'm just really used to saying adidas so adidas it is it's really well cushioned well padded and that's one of the things that i really like about this bag by the way in the side pockets it has this stun thing that you can use to lock the side pockets if you want to put small things inside. But for my case, I don't lock these because I put big things inside like my water bottle and then my umbrella on the other side. Moving on to the other pocket, as I said, I have my umbrella right here. This is just the automatic umbrella that you click and then it... Yeah. Also in this right pocket, I have my alcohol that I got for free from our school library. I've been speaking for 10 minutes. Wow. This is wow, amazing. Let's make this quick. Next, I have some... Oh. This is just a... Uh, these are just papers from Bastem. Oh, I have safety pins. Because you never know when you're gonna need these. And that's all. Let's move on to the front pocket, shall we? This is how the zipper looks like. It has this rubber material on it. It's very tight down here because my bag is filled. The first thing that I can pull out is my facial tissue. I also have these grid post-it notes or sticky notes that I got from SM Supplies. It comes in four colors, pink, blue, yellow, and green. And I haven't opened it yet. I really like how it looks like and I love how it's gridded. Next, I have a cloth mask that I used once when I commuted to school. Next, I have a scientific calculator, just a basic Casio scientific calculator. Next, I have this wire or cable organizer, wire clip, cable clip, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, it's just a bigger... I use this sometimes for my earphones because my earphones are always tangled, but I keep forgetting to put it back on. So it's just here, lying inside my bag, at the bottom of my bag, not doing its purpose. I have this menthol thingy that you smell when you're not feeling well, when you're feeling nauseous. But I use this when I'm feeling sleepy, or I just really like the smell of it. So, and like, it helps wake you up, um, and yeah. It's all inside this pocket. So let's move on to the second pocket, the next pocket. So the zipper of this one looks different from the previous pocket. This one comes with this thing. Aside from the zipper, this thing, the handle of the zipper, and my keychain, I also have a whistle that I keep in here in case of emergencies. The reason why I don't keep it out like this is because I don't want it to get di dirty, so I tuck it inside this pocket. Next, I have my wired 
earphones and it's always angled and it's slowly starting to break. Next, I have some change in here and a um, bus ticket, a bus ticket and then a bank deposit slip. And yeah, the change as I said. By the way, this pocket has a fleece material. I think that's what it's called. And you're supposed to put your like glasses or your phone in here, but I don't do that. And now the last pocket is this one. The zipper itself looks like this. Okay, yeah, that's how it looks like. And it zips halfway through like that. The interior is gray and pink. So the first thing that you see when you open up my bag is my huge pencil case that is the main thing that makes my bag heavy <laughs> i just have markers crayola markers highlighters schneider highlighters my pilot mechanical pencil a glue stick black pens colored pens i also really like the paper made ink joy gel pens i also keep scissors in here but without the huge pencil case here's an overview of my bag the first thing in here is my Sharpie highlighters that I just got from SM as well. And these came in a pack of five. It came with a blue one and a yellow one, but I already took those out because I used them to study. I also keep in here a TK kit or emergency kit kind of. It's an Ipsy bag and I keep like pads, a spoolie for my brows that I barely use. I have two shades of the sem semi pro multicolor so these work pretty similarly to the glossier cloud cloud paint but i got these on sale i only got these for 175 each um compared to the glossier cloud paint which is like 18 dollars each i also have a clean and clear powder that i don't use very much but i use the mirror a bit a lot i have extra masks cloth masks because of the virus a big sniffy thing for when you have a cold i also have an eb lip bow. It's like similar to a lip lip gloss. And I have, wow, okay. I have two Mary Kay lip glosses and one is empty and one, one is not. They're in the same shade, by the way. That is all inside my Kikai slash emergency pouch. Next is my electronics pouch, which is just this one. It's a, ah, Gudetama. Gudetama. I'm not sure if I'm saying it properly, but it's so cute. Look at the back. Okay, look at the back. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, so normally I have my charger in here, but since we don't have school, I have my charger with me. So right now I only have my power bank in here and a flash drive of some money. Uh, I have an SM ticket sleeve. I don't know what it's called. This is where they put your concert ticket in. So yeah, that's all that's inside my electronics bag. And next is my wallet. This is a pretty small wallet and I got this from... No, I didn't get this for myself. My tita gave this to me and this is an, a Victoria's Secret wallet. As you can see, it says Victoria's Secret right there. And it has pockets for your IDs, your cards. And right now I have my beat card right here. Next, I have filler notebooks. What is this? I have trash. Research, philo, philosophy, bio. Reading and writing, fun faith. Just write my notes here, nothing much. Next, I have my handy dandy planner slash assignment notebook slash to-do list. Next, I have another notebook. Another notebook. This is a five subject notebook that I got from Walmart. I just use it for personal development and philosophy. So this is how my notes look like. Okay, that's enough. The math notebook which I have been using since last year, grade 10. I have algebra, trigonometry, or general mathematics. So all those three subjects are in here. <laughs> Next, I have textbooks, crosswise yellow pad. One fold yellow pad, stock up on one fourth and one half and one fold. Next, I have my pencil case that I use during exams. So the reason why I have a separate pencil case when taking exams is because we're required to use wooden number two pencils and if I put my wooden pencils in this pencil case it's gonna make holes on the material of this pencil case and I don't want that to happen. Next is my very useful iPad. The 2018 version. I do everything on this thing. I have two folders 
One is a 17 folder and one is a USD folder. The last thing, this is just a clear book that has a clear pocket in the front. And I just have some random papers inside. This is a calligraphy made by my friend. And this is a ticket holder. Oh, that's what it's called. Ticket holder. My friend, my other friend gave me. And just a bunch of random papers inside. Since we don't have classes right now, this is not organized. I just have things inside. This is an example of my reviewer. I handwrite my reviewers. I just have a bunch of papers inside and organize my papers by subject. So like, I use two sleeves for each subject. One is for readings and one is for written works. Back sleeves are just um, miscellaneous stuff, like loose papers, some stickers, um, some drafts, and solution papers. And that is all inside this clear book. My bag is empty right now. So if you guys enjoyed watching this video, which I hope you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, give this video some love, and my other videos as well. Bye guys, thanks for watching!